a proper one thousand. Okay, this isn't a thousand packs, but like I've got, I've just got boxes everywhere. One thousand packs of Chilling Rain. I'm set up just by myself. Wipey will be with me here sometime soon. I don't know. We'll figure it out. A proper Chilling Rain one thousand pack video. We haven't done that in YouTube for a while. So I'm all kind of discombobulated and everything. I guess I'll jump into it. Oh, also, real quick. Yeah, we're back on YouTube, if you haven't noticed. And a Blaziken right off the bat. Oh, my God. How am I actually separating all of this? I don't even know. I should have thought about that before I started the video. Nah, you got to deal with me. Wifey will be here in a little bit. And then her and I will probably talk about food and stuff or whatever. I don't even know what we talk about. Uh, but you'll notice there's been some changes on the front end of the YouTube channel. And we resurrected our other YouTube channel. By the way, does this actually show? Yeah, the daily Pokemon boxes. It, it, it's only a 55 second video, but there's a link down below. Here, I'm just going to basically open, uh, quickly open like a collection box or whatever. How about I do a Mad Party pin collection and a double, I think, are live right now. I don't know. Every day will be like just a short opening there. That is back. Whew. Let's see. We rented a physical location. To set up for streaming, because yes, we Twitch stream. Yes, the link down below. Hey, slow king of the blingy bling bling. And we sell breaks. I mean, that's what we do. We're live like all the time. I mean, come join us. But yeah, we're setting up a streaming studio. We actually signed the lease last Friday, a week ago. Working on that. Yeah, we're back. We're back, baby. I know I've said that so many times. I'm just going to keep saying it. I promise you. Someday we will actually, actually be back. Uh, again, so what we're going to do here, I mean, these are good cards, I'm just, I don't know, is we're going to open a thousand packs, and then I'm going to see how well we did. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to stop pulling these uncommons out, I think. The set just came out, as in, like, tomorrow my time, today your time. So prices are all over the map, and I'll just do it based on TCG player. So the prices are going to be higher because the card values actually come down. You know, I'm terrible at explaining that. Listen, the cards are more expensive at release and on pre-order than they are at release. So, the prices I'm going to give you are going to be high, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. And then I'll base it off of retail in 1,000 packs, which is $4,000. And we'll see how we did. Of course, that's if you can find things at retail. It's not, yeah. But as for these cards, oh my god, Chilling Rain has the coolest art. There are so many alternate art cards that I just lose my mind about. They're so amazing. We've opened, I don't know, maybe, I think Wipey and I have opened 5,000 packs of this on Twitch so far this week. Yeah, that's a plug for Twitch again. Come join us while we're live. By the way, we're, we give away Chilling Rain booster boxes and stuff on there. So And battle style boxes too, because we have a lot of those. Everyone does. <laughs> So anyways, we want to win a booster box coming over. But I swear we're still, like even when we did today's stream, which is Thursday, we opened another alternate art that we hadn't seen before. It's crazy. And the condition is absolutely amazing. I've only found one card so far when I inspected it to see if it was in good condition or not that had a very, very, viny, very, very, very money, mi minor, tiny, that had a defect on it. All the other ones, it's what I like to call the Evolutions treatment. Because Evo, if you remember, was perfect. Oh, their print run, the cards were just perfect. I, I swear, like, everything graded as a 10 for a long time. Until they started reprinting it. Then they kind of slacked on it a bit. Not as bad as the Burning Shadows reprint. That was, oh my god. Do you guys remember the Burning Shadows reprint when basically it looked like the back of every single card was just... Took it outside to the parking lot on the asphalt and just kind of smeared it around on its back for a while. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. But anyways, yeah, these cards are amazing. Amazing. So if you're going to buy, like, PSA or BGS or whatever, 10s, there should be a lot of them out there. Should be. We'll, we'll see how it ends up going. I don't know why I'm... St hey, whatever. I'm just going to do it this way. It's weird making videos without wifey. I mean, what am I going to talk about? I don't know. Like... Hey, got another nice bling bling. Okay, so look, I'm just going to take this. Watch this one be all sorts of messed up. All right, let's look at this back. Like, no scratches, no pits, anything on the back that I can see there. And then the corners, it's hard with this light, but 
Those are just so clean. It looks like it has little white marks on it, but I promise you it, it doesn't. They're just... The backs of these cards are just perfect. I mean, again, when they're grading them, they look at them under magnification, so there might be, like, little deep defects. Well, I cannot speak. But, man, they're just beautiful looking. Hey, not bad in a row. Also, with this, usually when we record the 1,000 packs, it's just we sit down, we click record, and we go until all the packs are gone. Given the fact that I'm going to have to clean up stuff here as I go on my own, especially if I end up doing all 28 booster boxes, I'm going to have to stop the recording here or there, clean it up. And especially if uh, Wifey wakes up, you know, I kind of want to go see her and give her some time to wake up. So, yeah, but there might be a couple cuts, but I will leave all the packs as they sit. So, you know, nothing was tampered with. But then again, almost everything's off screen. So I guess you'd have to trust me. And I don't know. Other than that, I, I don't know a lot to talk about. We disappeared forever. Basically went over to Twitch. I mean, things got really bad. I ended up working with a couple other stores because my allocations were crap. As you know, it's impossible to get a hold of anything. Um, I did a partnership now with somebody else. They've got a lot of product. We are working together jointly, like legally as a business, I guess I'll say. We brought Wiggins on, who he's live right now, actually doing breaks. And, yeah, it's been a lot of planning. A lot of planning. Plus, legal paperwork takes forever. Oh, my God. But, yeah, a lot of planning. And even just looking at building spaces and then being like, hey, are we going to do a hobby shop? Which we want to. For those of you who remember me way back in the day, and I'm talking like 2013 to 2018, we did like card shop life where I recorded what we did in my card store that I had. And I miss those days. I want to bring that back. And we want to have a hobby shop again. You know, get back into magic and... I was never into Yu-Gi-Oh, but, you know, maybe get into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like Flesh and Blood, Warhammer, all of that stuff. And, man, I... Oh! <laughs> Talk about amazing arts, by the way. Oh, I love these arts. They're just... All of them are so sick. It's not very often I, I open a Tornadus and just... And love it. But I do. I absolutely do. These are so amazing. As for top loading, I will top load things uh, later. <laughs> um, for now, I will just penny sleeve them and go. <clears throat> but yeah, we are heavily pondering opening another hobby store. When would that happen? I don't know. We need to get YouTube. I already need to fix my codes. We need to get YouTube back to where it was on both channels. Get that going again. Get some new series going on. Hire on some more help. There's a lot we need to end up doing. So we're working on it. See, I opened that tornado, and I just didn't even care. But whatever. I, you know what? I'm not going to make false promises on anything. Just going to tell you we're trying. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm slowing down already. This is, I'm already running out of room. It's just me, and how am I running out of room already? Normally, we're doing this with two people, and before, we did it with four. How do we do it with four people before and not run out of room? It's been a while. Oh. I hear someone walking around upstairs. Either it's the kid or Wifey's awake. Or maybe it was the dogs playing. I have no idea. Whew. Anyway. All right. What else am I going to ramble about for the next... Well, if I do this by myself, four hours. Let's see. What should I... I have no idea. I My life has been hectic and chaotic lately with all the business stuff. However, very boring for all of you. Because uh, just business and meetings and driving around and whatnot. Uh, finally, I'll be fully vaccinated here soon. I was going to get the Johnson & Johnson shot, but the kid couldn't get it because she's 15. So once Pfizer, they okayed that. We we're like, all right, we'll go get it as a family because I was holding off on that. Um, we felt sick for like two days. And yeah, basically now I got to drive around for meetings after I am fully vaccinated. Work, work. And that, I guess that's okay. I'm all right with that because, dude, there's just no games to play. I mean, in the MMO world, yes, there's like Amazon New World coming out, what, the end of uh, August, but they changed it from a sandbox game to a theme park game, and I don't like theme park games. Uh, world of Warcraft Classic, 
is now the Burning Crusade, which is cool. I played it a bit. I decided to roll to a Warlock because, well, Warlocks were broken in Burning Crusade. Love it a Warlock. And, yes, I will admit, I bought a level 58 boost. I did. I didn't want to re-level through Classic. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And played it for a bit. Hit 61, and I was like, I don't have time to do this. So I'm not going to do this. Let's see what else is coming. Diablo 2, like, remastered? Be at what, September something? I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm excited about that. You know what? I could lose my entire life to Diablo 2, though. Because Diablo 2 is so good. I put so many hours into that game before that maybe that's the game that'll stick. I don't know. There's just not a lot coming out that... Maybe I missed something. I don't, I don't know. Shroud of the Avatar was an epic disappointment. Waited on that game since 2013. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to complain about that for a second. 2013. All right, here we go. So, I am so old. I am like 97 years old. There's a game called Ultima Online. I don't think it's the first ever MMO. I think that goes to Meridian 59. But it came out in 1997 or something. It was a great game. Richard Garriott and Star Long were the two main people who made it. And it went through a bunch of changes throughout the years, as any video game does. It was a sandbox game. For those of you that do not know, a theme park game is like World of Warcraft, where it's not open to whatever you can do. Like, it has levels. You all move towards the same end goal. There's not much you can do besides, well, level and fight and whatever. Sandbox games like Ultima Online, basically you can do whatever you want. There was no levels. They had skills, so you could train, like, your swordsmanship, your whatever. But if you wanted to fish all day, that was a legitimate thing. You wanted to stand at the bank and just trade items all day. You could do that. And you're like, wait, I can do that in WoW. Yeah, but you could also become a farmer and just farm. Never have to kill anything. Never have to level. I mean, people were real estate brokers where you could just buy and sell houses all day. There's, You could hunt rares. You could go out in the sea and you could do treasure. Uh, yeah, you could do treasure maps on land. You could do message in the bottles out in the sea. There's just You could be a literal pirate. Oh, my God. Endless. Endless amount of stuff that you could do. And you could build your character however you wanted. Like in World of Warcraft, for example, if you're a warrior, you have a bunch of warrior abilities. You can't pick and choose. But in a sandbox, you could be like, I will take that from a mage. I'll take that from a warrior. I'll take that from a rogue. I'll take that from a druid. I'll take that from a priest. And build your own character how you want it. That was Ultima. Anyway, so they ended up selling the game... And after 2003, the game just became different. You guys are like, there's probably one of you out there that has any idea what I'm talking about. Well, hey, I'm Darium. This is what I do. I blab. Better than talking about the stock market right now. Anyways, Richard Garriott and Star Long, the two that made Ultima Online, a game that I spent well over 10 years playing. I mean, I met some really good friends that I have to this day. Uh, I met a guy that actually lives in Cornfield, Ohio, not far away from me. Him and I have been really great friends ever since then. Uh, even friends that I met that live in Hong Kong that we ended up meeting up with and everything. It's just, it's just crazy. I gathered friends around the world from that game. Because um, it was more of a social game. Anyways, so, well, there's more social. There's more talking and socializing in sandboxes than there are theme parks. Anyway, so they announced, they I keep saying so, that they announced they were doing a Kickstarter to make a Ultima Online-esque game. They can't say Ultima Online or anything because that's owned by Electronic Arts now. But they said that it's going to be in spirit of Ultima Online. Basically, it's going to be Ultima Online 2. They did a Kickstarter. They raised several millions of dollars. Then they continued crowdfunding and raised millions of more dollars. And they just kept telling us it's going to be like Ultima Online. It's going to be like Ultima Online. It's going to have housing. It's not going to have levels. It's going to be sandbox. It's just, oh, my God. So many millions of dollars they raised. They were selling Kickstarter packages for over $10,000. Yeah, $10,000 for a Kickstarter package for a video game. They sold out more than three times. They had to keep putting up more. And I don't mean three people bought it. I mean, they would have it where they're like, oh, we only have like 30 of these available. They'd sell out. They'd have to do it again. Uh, we only have 30 of these. But they'd sell out. Craziness. Well, the game um, went into like pre-alpha. 
I'm like, okay, it's pre-alpha. All right. They got a lot of work to do on it. And then one day they're just like, it's released. And now there's like 10 people to play the game. It got so bad that Richard Garriott left the company. Um, they sold it to one of the developers. And it's just... <laughs> no. Anyways, the point of griping about all that is... That's the last time I got excited about like an MMO coming out. Because that just destroyed me. It was 2013 is when it was announced. I backed the Kickstarter. And I think like 2000. 18 maybe or something like that it quote unquote released and it was just like man i followed this for five years with like bated breath so many ultima online players came back oh doctor Blah. moral of the story i trying to get my hopes up there you go so amazon new world I'm so going full circle on this is a game that i've been interested in and it's hard not to get excited but then they changed it to a theme park. I don't know. Did I just waste like 20? I did waste like almost 20 minutes talking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but hello, everybody. I'm going to have to actually move some bulk here soon. I'm not going to stop the video to move the bulk. I'm just going to move it here in a minute. Actually, you know what? Move it kind of now because this is uh, going to fall. All right. Knocked codes over, though. Yeah, this is the quality entertainment you all came here for. Okay, there's that. Let me get this. Put this somewhere else. Um, over here. And then you go over here. Hey, look at me doing stuff. Actually, can't really see it. Get all the codes. And no, I can't show you all the codes because um, they're mine. Okay. Also, I guess 20 minutes in the video, I will tell you. I try to always tell people, whenever we upload a video that's our past live stream, these packs are not ours. They're going to customers because so many people are getting mad or got mad. They're like, why are you opening so many packs? Because, dude, you could have given those to, like, kids or something. Literally, that's what people are saying. Because Pokemon was so hard to get a hold of. They were like, you're keeping them for yourself. You should be giving them to people who need them. Which is funny because who needs... Whatever. Um... And I keep trying to tell people, whenever we were uploading the past live streams, those are breaks. And what a break is, is we sold them. I didn't keep any for myself. I will admit, however, for the first time in a long time, these thousand packs are mine. These do belong to me. I skipped over battle styles completely. I don't own any battle... Well, I own some. Some battle styles. Not much. You guys who know me know that I collect a playset. Four of every single card in every single set that comes out. Even cards where you can only have one in a deck. I'm like, no, nah, I want four of them. Because I put them in binders where they're called, uh, like, what is it? The four? I don't know. It's got four rows for four copies of cards. Whatever. That's how I keep my collection. And now that stuff is getting slightly easier to get, I decided, you know what? I can dip in a thousand packs this time. So this is for my personal collection. I'm going to start trading and doing whatever I can do to get a place out of this set. Because this art is absolutely amazing. Like, I, you know, I didn't need to have what would it have been. If I would have had four of every single Ursafu for battle styles, how many Ursafu would I have had? I don't know. I can't count that high. So I was able to skip that. But this set, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Plus, Wifey, you guys know, Wifey loves Articuno. She's obsessed with Articuno. And there are some sick ones in this. So, yeah, uh, you can be mad at me if you want to, but I did decide, nah, it's time that I start building my collection again. Hey, and we got the Roadrunner. Yeah. Oh, my God, so sick. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, sorting this, though, at the end of this video is going to be a nightmare. That's the part that I'm not looking forward to. So I have 18 boxes down there. I've got how many sitting next to me? There's 28 boxes total. That's four, five, six. All right, maybe I'll open the six I have next to me. I'm kind of talking out loud right now. That'll leave 18 left. I'll go check on Wifey. 
Um, she's still sleeping. I'll check on the dogs. Come back. Start cracking some more. I wonder how long this will take me doing it myself. I'm trying to like speed through it, but I don't know where I should put everything when I'm sorting this all. Hey, we got a mount. Speaking of World of Warcraft, this actually reminds me a lot of World of Warcraft because, you know, it's a horsey. It's a horse rider. It's kind of like in WoW, trying to get a mount or the WoW TCG game, if you remember that. Scratch off loot cards where almost every set would give you a mount as the rare one. This makes me giggle in this set because it's like, haha, I got a mount. I am very easily entertained. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. And I mean painfully easily entertained. All right, what what else? 20 minutes in. Don't even know what else to talk about. If Wifey was here, we would talk about what we're going to eat for dinner. I had some, what are these, like Reese sticks? Like they're Reese Twix almost. Oh, those things are good. I had that. When Wifey goes to sleep, my nutrition just dies off. So I was like, did you eat dinner? I'm like, sure I did. I ate half a box of Twinkies. Uh, but I don't tell her that much. All right, there you go. Checked off the obligatory, obliga obligatory um, talking about food. Oh, I guess I can talk about video series. So we're talking about bringing this channel back. I keep saying so. The series. Now, PSA is... Keep channeling my inner Italian here. I am partly Italian. I'm allowed to say that. The PSA Greater Returns videos will not be easy because PSA is still super behind. I want to bring that back. I love that series. That might be able to come back sometime soonish. The Mystery Power Boxes, I am actually... I think I'm able to find a good mixture or variety of those. So I want to do the mystery openings again. Maybe like twice a week. I don't know if we're doing... Are we going to do a video a day? Or a video every other day? We might probably... Okay, we might do a video every other day on this channel on average. And then we have the daily Pokemon channel. That's where I'll just pump out a bunch of stuff. That might be what I, whatever. Anyway. So I'll probably want to do one to two days a week. Maybe two days a week of Mystery Power Box openings. We have the Profit or Loss. And we also call it Packs or Cash. Where I open something and then I add up the total value. And see if we made money or lost money. I'm not sure what we'll call that series. Because we kind of named it two different things. That I know I want to bring back. Uh, there is the large openings like this. I don't know how far and few between they'll be. There are our past live streams from Twitch, which I'll upload every now and then. I'm not going to upload every live stream from Twitch because then we'd be uploading like a three-hour video almost every day here, and it's just a past live stream. I know YouTube doesn't like that, so so I said so again. Stop it. I'll do it every now and then, maybe like once or twice a week. If I did it twice a week, that's already four videos. Oh, no. And PSA Greater Turns will be five videos. But you need to have more variety than that. I don't know. What video series should I do? Okay, so... Ah, stop saying so. All right. Product is getting slightly easier to get, which is bringing the price down a bit. And there's a lot of good product coming out. Now, I said now instead of so. What video series should I do? Because some of them are hard to do. Like, I can't do opening... 30 collection boxes every day like we used to. Product is just almost non-existent. But it's getting better. So, oop, I almost said it again. With that said, what video series can I do? There's got to be some new ones I could bring online. I know people say that Wifey and I could do, like, box battles between each other. Which we can. Hey, we got some gold. But I'd get tired of losing. And the punishment would probably be you have to clean the house or mow the lawn or something. And if we did that, I'd have no time to make any videos anymore because all I'd be doing is my punishment. So I... Meaning I don't want to do that. Maybe every now and then. I need ideas because I don't know. Wifey and I have talked about it. We don't know. We don't know. Can't do, like, poke... YouTuber life because we're boring and we just have the studio. I can't do studio life where I show what we're doing in the studio because that would be boring. We'd be like, look, we're, we're live streaming. 
Look at us live stream. When you have a shop, you can do that then. I do want to build the store. Kind of like uh, Truman Show-esque, I will say. Where we have the stream decks right here. I can't show you because the cord's not long enough. But you can press buttons on it and switch to multiple cameras. Webcams are so cheap now and really good quality. To the point we could actually wear microphones, lapel mics or lavalier or whatever they're called, when we're in the store and then have these stream decks around the store. So maybe, hey, so if someone buys a break, we can sit down, switch to the, the setup, do a break. And then if we're helping, not helping a customer, but if we're doing something else in the store, we can just press some buttons and the camera follows us. This way, we can just live stream the store all the time. Like the tournaments, the events, we could actually build the rig table. So when people are playing, it'll have the overhead cameras, everything. I mean, that's the future, right? It's all online. And you need a physical shop in order to do certain things like league play, pre-releases, I mean, anything that involves magic and anything else. So I think it'd be pretty sweet to build it where it's just always accessible to people online. And we could just stream it whenever we're open. Oops, get out of there. I mean, if we had hours like we had before, it'd be from like 10 a.m. to 10 o'clock at night. You could just stop in and talk to us. I wouldn't be there all 12 hours, but you could you know, talk to whoever's in here or in the store, check out what's going on, and just I think that'd be sick. That'd be a it's a lot more to build than you think it would be. <laughs> but I would love to do that. Just kind of a physical store. Or basically it'd be a, a virtual store with a physical form. Most places are a physical store that have an online presence. This would be an online store with a physical presence, basically. Or literally. I don't know. Whatever. I've got Four and a half more boxes I'm going to open. I'll check on Wifey, and you all might get lucky, and she might be awake. Then you don't have to deal with me just rambling the way that I'm rambling. Or you might just have to anyways. Boop. Ah, there it is. Get get over here, Zapdos. And I'll tell you, I guess, half hour into this, a lot of you are asking about the super sweet Moltres. I... We've opened, I think, five of them. Out of almost 5,000 packs that Wifey and I did. And given the fact it's like the chase card. About 1 in 1,000 packs is usually where chase cards land. When you're talking about like Burning Shadows Charizard or anything else. Or Rainbow Rare Chunkachu Pikachu. They always land about... Oh my god, Wifey's going to want that. Oh, Wifey's going to want that. Ah. Oh. Ah, so beautiful. I tell you, this art in this set, there's so many sick cards. Anyways, they fall about one in a thousand packs. On average is what it seems to be over the long run. I mean, you can get multiple in a thousand. When we were doing Burning Shadows, I believe we went like maybe 3,000, 3,500 packs when we were opening them in a row and didn't get a single one. Then we got like... Three or four of them in a thousand packs. So it's over the long run that we're averages out to be. I know. I said so again. I probably said it a few times. What's also hilarious is I wanted to thank a couple people for following on Twitch right now. I'm using the Twitch software to record. And since I started this video, we've had four follows on Twitch. And it's hilarious because this is a pre-recorded video. No one knows that I said what I said earlier about Twitch. But somehow four people made their way over. To follow on Twitch in the last 30 minutes. I don't know what's going on. Your legends. Thank you. I'm going to have to move my bulk here in a second. I'll do that before I start cracking into these boxes. These loose packs that I had sitting down here are from six boxes. Right? I don't know. Something like that. Because I needed to get a thumbnail for this video. The rest are just in boxes. Normally, we have them already opened in stacks of packs, but since I was knew I was going to start this video myself, I did not do that. What does that mean? I have no idea. I do want to hit some of the Seeker Rare Energy, though, because they look so amazing this go-around. They looked cool the first time. They just look even better this go-around. They just... Pokemon just one-upped itself with 
the amazingness of this set. No joke. I know everyone's like, ooh, Evolving Skies, Evolving Skies. Let's do Evolving Skies pre-orders. People wanted me to do pre Evolving Sky pre-orders a week ago when I was opening Chilling Rain. and <laughs> Chilling Rain hadn't even came out yet. But just slow down and enjoy the amazingness of this set. I mean, Evolving Skies is coming. But this set is just great. Hold on, i got to get these codes. These codes are falling. They go there. I don't, why am I cleaning up this energy already? I have this many packs left. I was, <laughs> I'm going to clean everything up when I'm done with these packs. And then I... Ah, whatever. I not smart. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I also have a headache setting in, too. Was I talking about anything relevant? Don't think I was. For any of you still watching 30 minutes later of Darium just rambling like an absolute madman, props to you. Also... Let me get an estimate here. So 28 boxes. It's 18, 19, 20, 20, 22. Wow, it just took me 30 minutes to open six boxes. Oh, I am getting old. Oh, no, I am slowing down on my old age. I got to clean this up. 30 minutes for six boxes. I used to be able to do so much better than that. I am so sorry for how slow I am. Oh, now I have to actually open boxes, too. Oh, so it's going to take me like another 20 minutes to get through these four boxes. If not more. Ah, there's white powder on this. Some of these boxes do have the white powder of, like, death. But most of the Chilling Rain do not, thankfully. Ugh, thankfully. I'm also afraid this video is going to not record keep staring at the record thing just to see. Maybe it's because I've got like really stupid ways I'm putting all of this down. I'm reaching so far. Ah! <laughs> About one in a thousand packs. We hit it on box number seven. Look at how dusty my hands are from that one box. Oh, just, just take a look at that beauty. This means we have a chance to get multiples of these in this thousand packs. Just look, look at it. Oh, look how clean that is. Just, just look at how clean. Oh. All right. All right. I said I was going to top load it later. I lied. I lied. Top loading it now. That baby's going to sit right there. Oh, that is so beautiful. Whew. Yeah, so we have a chance to get multiple. All right, what if I go like this? Is this quicker? Oh, I hope. So box number seven. Whew. Nice. That makes me happy. I wonder if I should actually open, before I go check wifey, get halfway through? I don't know. We'll see. That would be, there's 28 boxes. What's 28 divided by two? That would be 14 boxes. This would take me to 10. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. I am afraid it's not going to record if I click record and just let it record for too long. We'll see how it goes. All right. Pick it up, Darian. Pick it up. This is like, this is the part of the video where people don't care anymore. Half of them are already asleep. 97% of them already skipped to the end of the video to see what I open. So this is just, this is just go time. That's what this is. Get over here, Roadrunner. Where are you trying to go? Trying to run away. Aha, see what I did there? I'm funny. Reminds me of something Splinter would say. And, oh, God. You know what we're going to talk about right now? Yeah, we're going there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. Why is it the Turtles movie that came out in 1990 still looks good today? The animatronics and the suits still look good today. We're talking 30 years later, it looks good. Then they did Turtles 2, all right. By the time Turtles 3 came out, I don't even know what that movie was, they looked bad. Well, they started to look bad. They looked stupid at that point. Then they had, like, the Turtles Christmas special, whatever it was. I can't even remember the one where they had to go get Splinter a present, and that's when they had the permanent, like, cheese on their face. They were just smiling with their teeth showing, which is kind of funny because when they're supposed to get mad... They just have this big grin, toothy grin on their face. 
Why? Why? And then Michael Bay came out. What'd you do to my turtles, Michael Bay? What'd you do to my turtles? I'm still mad about that. Yeah, I'm not over that yet. I just don't get why they don't do a Turtles movie with the same animatronics and build and everything in the 1990s. It still holds up now. I'd probably go watch it. Why do you have to try to reboot it, reboot it and make them gritty? No need for that one. Hey, look at this. Like two mounts in a row. I, I just don't get it. You know, why, why mess with perfection? Why am I talking about that? I don't know. What? Why? Why am I talking about that? I said something that reminded me. Ah, uh, whatever. It might also be because it was a couple days ago. I watched a Cinemassacre. James Rolfe. Love him. Oh, there's the energy. Whew. Whew. Oh, by the way, psychic fighting and water. Those are the secret of energy in here. I forgot to actually mention that earlier. Those are the three in here. Ah, James Rolfe. Anyway, Cinemassacre. Was talking about it, and I love that guy. These. They super blinged these out. They they went ham on these this set too. Like these have always looked sick. Hey camera, focus. They just look super sick now. Like super awesome, amazing sick. That's what they look like. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go there, go there, go there. So again, this set. Oh, I just I know I was complaining about the turtles. Now I'm talking about secret or energy. They look good. This set has so many good cards in it. I don't even care if, like, playability they're not good. The, uh, this set just has a lot of amazing stuff in it. That's what I'm going to say. Yeah, so many good cards. I'm just going with good cards. All right, so if I do it this way, so I said so again, I can clean this up easier. One box at a time. There we go. That's smart. That's smarter than the way I was doing it. Might not be smart, but it's smarter. Okay, so the codes can just go over here. Ball goes there. Bam! It only took me like seven or eight boxes to figure out how to do this. And how many years have I been doing this? Forever. And I just now figured it out. Look at me. It's still my first day on the job. Don't mind me. This pile, however, in the middle is going to become quite ridiculous. Because it definitely does with a thousand packs. I don't know if I should move any off to the side as I go. Eh, I'll decide when I'm about halfway through. Which is like four hours from now. This is going to be a long thousand pack video. Boop, boop. Santa kind of V-Max. Put this here, put this there, and boop. How many more do I have until I'm halfway done? Wait, so I have to do four more of that. Wait, I need 12, no, 14 and 14, right? Yeah, 14, 14. That's 12, 13, 14. Yeah, four. I'd have to do six more boxes after this. That's not bad. Why did it take me a half hour to... I don't know. Whatever. Math. Math is hard. Not sure if you knew that or not. Hey! How are you? Get in there. Little waifu. Full art bling bling waifu. Worth at least a half a Lambo. Minimum a half a lamb, but why'd we get another follow on Twitch? Thank you, whoever you are. What is happening? I don't know why people are following right now. Kind of cool. I'll take it though. I will take it. I thought about Twitch streaming the thousand packs, but man, our internet lately, as in yesterday and today, not good. We cut our stream short yesterday. I think we only did 500 packs yesterday because of that wasn't good that's all oh hey getting more mounts that's what happens while the corn the corn interferes with Wi or not wi-fi with internet yeah that's it i stream off wi-fi that'd be smart from internet however what's funny is when our stream lags like that when we're just got terrible internet going on the audio is completely fine very strange very weird that also reminds me i just now thought about this this long into this video well, no going back. See now, I'm recording in 720p. I did not even record this video in 1080p. Yeah, the good news is that's smaller files for me to have to edit together. I like that though. That make oh come on, go there, go there. Come on, I'm slowing down. Stop slowing down, Darian. You got this. I like that. It's easier for me. Probably more annoying for some of you though. Come on, should be recording this in 4K. 
but I'm not. Man, all right. Okay, why am I like losing my mojo all of a sudden? Oh yeah, because I'm like 70 years old. That's why. Boop. All right, what else do I want to talk about? I was talking about Teenage Mutant Turtles. I still don't understand why they did that. Michael Bay, why'd you have to go ahead and betray me like that? What are the things from my childhood were ruined? Well, about everything, including my childhood. I've got scars. Yep. So, I said so again. Dang it. My, my brain's just stuck in turtles. See, what else is going on? Nothing. There's really nothing going on. I mean, there's a lot going on, but nothing that I would usually talk to you all about. Because we'd usually be playing some kind of games on top of it. We'd be hanging out with people because there wasn't a pandemic. I will get some more people, though, to come over and help with the channel and everything. After I'm fully vaccinated. I super freak out about that because for those of you that do know, our kid has asthma. Pretty bad asthma. And I worry about, I almost said the word so, but I didn't. I worry about respiratory disease, you know? Kind of makes sense. And cleanup time. Yeah, doing cleaning up a box at a time. That makes sense. Look at me. Great ideas, you know? Goes there. And bam, next box. Ugh. There we go. And I was going to say something. Now I don't remember what. Talking about the kid. And that. Total mind blank. I don't hear wifey walking around anymore or whoever walking around up there. What was I going to say? Ben, well, regardless, we have not ran into any weird packs yet. There's been some error packs we have ran into, but nothing great. We've only ran into one pack so far with crimped cards, as I call zipper stitched. Only one pack. It did have two cards in it, though, that were crimped. That was pretty sick. We just shipped the entire pack to the customer. There's been a good amount of packs where there was no energy in the pack. And then there was packs that had two energy in the pack. There's been a decent amount of packs that have no codes in them. And by decent, I mean it's still a very, very tiny amount. I don't think there's been any ultra rares that came out of packs with green codes. There's been nothing where... Some sets, the first five cards, which are all commons, were just reverse hollows. Oops, that doesn't go there. Which you could get reverse hollow commons, you get rares, or reverse hollow rares, whatever. There's a couple sets that happened in. Guardians Rising was one of them. I don't remember which other ones there actually were. None of those this time around, unfortunately. So nothing that was extra cool. There's been a lot of boxes where there's been 17 packs on one side and 19 packs on the other. Normally a booster box has 18 packs on both sides. And sometimes the pack does just slide over to the other side. But these were packed in there as if that's how the factory packed it. Again, that's not that cool of an error. There's been some boxes where there's a few packs that were upside down. Again, not that cool of an error. So there's been some weird stuff that happened with packs, but nothing where it was cool other than the crimped cards. There's been no packs that have the red tape around it. Have you seen that? It's not actually tape, but there's like a red band that goes all the way around the pack. Those, uh, no, nope, haven't seen one of those yet. If you see one of those, don't open those. Those packs are sick. Sometimes you get a few hundred dollars out of those packs, by the way. Well, at least you could in 2020. And 2020 was like, uh, everything was worth a lot of money. Just everything. Literally everything. Even money was worth a lot of money. I think the price of a dollar went up to like $90. It was very weird. 2020 just didn't make any sense. By the way, I stole that from an, an onion article where they're talking about people on Wall Street were freaking out because the value of a dollar increased to ninety dollars. Yeah, the onion. I just I just talked about the onion. I told you I am eighty three years old. I remember old stuff like that. I've also been working in a lot of quotes from things on stream. 
for several weeks now, seeing how many people would catch it. I apparently have very, very obscure references that I use. Because not a lot of many, not not a lot of many people. You know what? That's a sentence I said, and that's a sentence I'm gonna roll with. Not a lot of many people actually caught it. Even though some of it was from Bill and Ted's bogus journey. Not gonna do well, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Strength strange things are afoot at the Circle K. I do say that one, but a lot of people do know that one. I've actually slipped a few into the stream too. Or this video. Not that I know if you would get it or not, because this is not real time. So that's not very helpful, Darium. Hey. This is what I do when I'm alone, by the way. I just sit around and just ramble about things. I don't know why Wifey married me. Admit it. You've all wondered the same thing. You look at me and you're like, all right, that guy's clearly an idiot. He has no idea what he's doing. At all, ever. He's, he's just an idiot. That guy's an idiot. I'm just an idiot that open, opens Pokemon cards, right? And wifey's like, amazing. And she's like, yeah, I'll marry him. I don't know if she lost a bet or something that I was unaware about. Because for those of you that don't know, I met wifey... At, so I had a store that we opened in 2011. I know. Dude, I'm 86 and a half years old. Trust me, I know. It's a while ago. And we were there for two years. Then we moved stores. And I met Wifey because she showed me the location of the new shop. She was the... What is it called? Not the realtor, but whatever. She was the person responsible for showing the the building to a potential renter. And that's when I met her the first time, was when I took a look at the building. So we moved in, and she also worked next door. Very weird. Whatever. And uh, <laughs> she knew we were all nerds. She decided to hang out with us anyway. Very, very strange. I'm just wondering if maybe she lost a bet to, like, Wesso or Aaron or something. Where it's like, if you lose this bet, you got to marry that idiot. Maybe she's just a woman of her word. That's what I'm going to roll with. Why am I talking about... Oh, yeah, because all I do is ramble. She's not very talkative either. Obviously, for those of you that know her. Or have ever seen a video with her in it. She is very quiet. And not very talkative. Opposites attract? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Or is that just a thing that people say and it's not really a thing? I think it's a thing that's not really a thing, but people say it's a thing. She was not a video game player before she met me. She was... Whatever. The moral of the story is this. Why not just remake Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 1990s with the same costume and make it look amazing, kind of like the Celebi, and then there you go. Everyone's happy. I mean, that's an adoring cell. Adoring. It's an adoring and adorable cell. Why is my phone ringing? It's probably Wiggins, isn't it? Yeah, it's Wiggins. I got it right. I'll answer that later. Fading you, Wiggins. And then just do that. Instead of making turtles in time or whatever the crap that was, where they didn't... They had Bebop and Rocksteady, but it wasn't Bebop and Rocksteady. Why not just do Bebop and Rocksteady and just keep it in modern day setting? I mean, the first, sure. All right, the first one, you beat Splinter. All right, whatever. That was an introductory movie, right? That was just to kind of like uh, just make you want more. Cool. That was a great movie. Fantastic. Amazing. You got Casey Jones in there. All right, April O'Neil. Everything was, was good to go. Second one, <laughs> you know, the second one could have been like, hey, Splinter's gone. Or not Splinter's gone. Yeah, I could have had Splinter be gone. But it's like, hey, Shredder's gone, right? And then, like, maybe Bebop and Rocksteady show up. And that's because Baxter Stocksman, like, created them. She could have had Baxter Stockman and Bebop and Rocksteady or whatever. Could have even had, like, Leatherhead coming out of the sewers or whatever. And and there you go. Like, that's that that's it. There, That's that. And... Maybe, like, Casey Jones and, like, April could have kind of saved the day a little bit to spice it up a bit. Cool. And then the third one, oh, my God, the Shredder's back. 
How did the shredder come back? How did that happen? Well, clearly it's because of Krang. You know? Get some Krang action coming on back. And if you wanted to get really wacky, you could have spoiled Dimension X. Instead of going back to, like, Feudal Japan or wherever they went, you could have maybe on Teenage Ninja Turtles number 17, too fast, too turtly, could have maybe went to Dimension X or something. But, yeah, you could have set that up, sold more of the same toys you sold back in the 90s, just remake them. Because by this time, it would have been, like, 2000. Or the 80s, I guess I'll say. And then, I mean, what, what's wrong? What's wrong with all that? Use the same exact costumes. Literally the same exact costumes that they did in, in the first one. Would have saved them a lot of money, right? You know a lot of money would have been putting them the animatronics in those costumes for the first one. So they would have kept it and kept using them all the way into Turtles Part 23. April's great, 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 great grandchildren get introduced. Like It would have been like, whoa, we're saving so much money doing this. Could have saved all the money and made billions of dollars to the point where they could have just just went to Dimension X with all that money. I mean, hell, by that time you could have had Elon Musk, you know, be the main villain in Dimension X, and like that would have been much more believable than whatever the crap that was, where they broke through a wall and Vanilla Ice is just randomly giving a concert and just on the fly can do a turtle rap. Am I taking this too serious? No, no, I'm, I've, I've got a point here. All right, I'm going to do four more boxes. That'll take me to halfway point. Then I'll go check on Wifey. I said that was going to take me 20 minutes, and it took me almost exactly 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this means you have to deal with me for 20 more minutes, potentially, before Wifey gets here. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not? You know, it would have been better and it was less of a disappointment if Weird Al Yankovic was the main villain in Turtles 3. I would have been like, whatever, at least it's a cool guy. At least I know who that is. Who are these other two? That's not Bebop and Rocksteady. <sighs> they did a good job casting Casey Jones. I'm, I'm going to say that. That Maybe it's just rose-tinted wine glass I don't know what the phrase is where I'm just thinking back with nostalgia saying hey man I liked Casey probably because I wanted to be Casey Jones I'm not a turtle so like I couldn't be like yo I want to be Raphael one day I'm not I don't like reporting I don't want to be a journalist so I was never like yo I want to be April O'Neil one day no Splinter just seemed too old and now I'm Splinter because well I am 89 and two-thirds and one-tenths day old. Uh, so I'm already splinter. I knew that was inevitably going to happen one day. And I was like, yo, that Casey Jones guy. He's cool. Oh, we did get two of them. We did. The guy was a fumbling idiot and had no idea how to flirt with women, but it didn't matter. It's Casey Jones. Dude had a hockey stick. Yeah, look at it. Ah, oh, we did it again. We did it. Look at how smooth and slick those backs are. All right. So this does fall in about... Oh, my God. Wait. This falls about one in a thousand packs. I'm not even halfway through. I haven't even opened 500 packs yet. And I got two of them. Oh, if you're watching this video and you buy breaks from me on Twitch, I am so sorry because we haven't opened one of those lately. We do 500 packs minimum a day when we do that. And I am so sorry. Oh, but I want to get two more. If I get... Oh, dude. If I get two more of these in this video... Again, these are mine. These are my cards. This is my personal collection. If I get a play set of that out of a thousand packs... Like, that's getting me excited. That's a possibility. It's a long shot. But we're not even halfway through this yet. And I already have two of them. It was a it was a toying toying it was a toying cost. Told you I'm an idiot. If I was even gonna get one of them, I got the one. Super excited about it, and I was like, "Well, hey, I got it out of the way. Maybe I'll get another one." Wishful thinking. Now I hit that, and it's like, "Ooh, greed! Greed kicks in. Give me, give me more, give me more, give me all four of them. I'll take that. Oh, I will take that." 
course I'll take that because that'd be amazing. Anyways, let's just, just boop, check off a playlist right there. The first time opening product for myself. Just be like, <clears throat> yeah, I got to play a set of the Moltres. <sighs> yeah, I'm cool. Like me on Instagram. Actually, don't. Don't do that. I don't know how to do Instagram. I don't know how to do any of that. I still don't. I, I, you know, being 91 and 15 tenths is just, I don't understand technology anymore. I really don't understand. Just by the time I figure out what TikTok is, I don't know how you use TikTok. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? Kind of some faith no more epic. Like, what is it? You'll see. Well, I didn't see. I, I don't know what it is. Now she's just talking about these other websites. She's like, can I get on this website? I'm like, what is that? Well, what, I don't understand what this is. Is it, a, is it? What is it? Then I don't know. I annoy the kid a lot by not understanding technology. This is probably why I'm still waiting for her to put me in her top eight. You know? I just, I keep checking. She won't do it. I can't even find her MySpace. I, it's, it's weird. I, you think kids like social media, but why is it I can't even find her MySpace? Does she have me blocked on MySpace? Is, is, she, is, is, she, is she pranking me or something? Am I actually in her top eight? I just, maybe she changed her name and I can't figure out who she is? I don't know, but whatever. Hey, I got to hit out of the last pack. Oh, I'll sleeve it and then clean it up. Boop, 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 boop. And move it. Ah. That was my finger. Goes there, and you go over here. This is the content y'all came for, didn't it? Up next. Oh, got to clean up the codes. This stack's getting a little bit too large. Don't want to knock any more on the ground. There we go. Ow! That was my other finger. <sighs> no workman's comp. If I get her on the job, wifey fired me yesterday. That's the rule. All right. Now I got two fingers that hurt. Oh my God, that reminded me. I got two chains. I can't even. I I can't. I can't even with myself anymore. What is wrong with my brain? I hear the kid upstairs. She's talking. She's either gone insane like me and she talks to herself when she's alone. Or wifey's awake. Yeah. Well, I'll do these other two boxes. Well, this and that, and I'll go check on her. Maybe I'll just wait for her for the second half. She'll be like the guest guest appearance. I ramble for the first 19 hours by myself, and then wifey comes. Oh, we're still recording. Good. Comes down and saves all of you. Okay, pick it up, Darian. Pick it up. You're getting slow. You're getting slow. Getting slow in your old age. You are definitely 104. Point nine degrees. So let's. Oh, there we go. Let's pick it up, man. Let's pick it up. I do feel completely better after the second dose, though. I know I don't want to keep talking about like you know that, but it was the weirdest experience in the world. So it's a lot better than getting you know what's actually going around. And there are side effects. Wifey felt completely fine for the first day, and then she had a fever, but she said she felt fine other than the fever. The kid just. You know, she had a low-grade fever. She was a little bit nauseous. And then she was okay. Almost 12 hours, like, to the T. I was laying there sleeping, because that's what I do sometimes. And I woke up, and I started shivering. And it wasn't just a shiver. It was, like, like going crazy. Like, I can't even, like, replicate it. Just shivering. as if As if my bone marrow was just made out of ice. It was crazy. Just, oh, it was so weird. To the point that the air just felt like cold. It just made out of cold. It wasn't cold air. It, the air was cold. It was crazy. Grabbed Wifey's hair dryer. I'm not even kidding you on this. I wrapped myself up in a blanket, stuck the hair dryer under it, turned it on high, got in like fetal position so as much as my skin would touch the hot air as possible. It just, just shivered. Oh, my God. It was weird. It's like my body went from just normal to, bam, over 100 in a minute and a half flat. 
It was strange. And then I carried a fever for about a day. It was manageable. I mean, Tylenol, Advil, managed it. And I, my body felt sick, but I had my brain was not foggy at all. Usually when you get sick, you kind of like foggy. Nope, not at all. It was weird, but yeah, I mean, that went away. It was manageable. It was okay. The headache was kind of manageable. It wasn't that bad. Hey, that's really good. That is good. I'm sorry, that wasn't bad, but that's good. This is weird. This this is fatigue. Yesterday and kind of today. That that was it. But I'm like 99.9% .9 better. It was just a strange experience. Just waking up, just shivering as if as if there was no tomorrow. So weird. So weird. But yeah. Uh, wifey's went away pretty quickly. All in all. It's done. It's done. Until they tell us we have to get booster shots. And then I'm just going to slam my head into the wall and say, Fine! <sighs> Till the next pandemic. I'll stop talking about that now. For real, though. You know, Turtles 5, you could have introduced, like, Leather... Was it Leatherface? Leatherhead? Which one was it? Was it Leatherhead? <gasps> the Rat King! Oh, the Rat King! He could have... Oh, no, you know, I would have put him in before Turtles 5. That's what I would have did. I, the rat can't... Yeah. I think it was... Was it Leatherhead that said, like, I guarantee? Or am I getting that confused? That didn't come from Power Rangers. I don't think. If it did, then... No, that came from Leatherhead? Leatherface? Leatherhead? Leatherman? What was it? It was, like, the crocodile or the alligator, whatever one that was. I don't remember. Yeah, the Rat King, though. Yeah. Oh, the Rat King could have fought Casey Jones. That would have been a good one. Yeah, that would have been sick. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to write a very strongly worded letter to whoever produced the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. <laughs> the writers. And be like, hey, man. So this is what you should have did. Apparently, I'm 40 years old and named Karen. Write a strongly worded letter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm feel better about myself doing that. Ah, oh, Casey fighting. the ra That would have been good. Would have been good. So, speaking of movies real quick. I mean, since you, you're still here. I don't know why. Hi. Thank you for being here, though. So when someone asks, what's your favorite movie? I am one of those really annoying people that has to explain. And here we go. My answer wants to be Gone in 60 Seconds. I know, the remake with Nicolas Cage, the one that came out in like 2000. But it's not my favorite movie. By far, it is not my favorite movie. It's not. I'd say it's a good movie. I wouldn't say it's great or one of my favorite movies. However, it's prob it has to be. No, it's definitely the movie I've seen the most times, though. Because it's... I don't know if I saw it at, like, a weird part of my life where it gives me some kind of comfort. It's as if the movie reminds me of something and I don't know what it is. It's very weird. So I'll just put it on randomly at night. While I'm just on the computer or something to be on another monitor just playing. The soundtrack, I love the soundtrack. But I can quote the entire thing. I can never get tired of it. Even if I sit down and watch the entire movie, I'm okay with it. It's weird. So it's not my favorite movie. I wouldn't even call it a great movie. It's, it's, yeah, it's decent. It's pretty good. But I can't get tired of the movie. It's so weird. So yeah, uh, don't ever ask me what my favorite movie is because I'm going to break into a 15-minute explanation of like, well, you see... Gone in 60 seconds, but it gets worse than that. Oh, no, it gets worse than that. You ever stop me at a party and you ask me that question, not only am I going to explain everything I just explained to you in greater details, I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to tell you this is a movie, right, called um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Right? Yeah, there's this movie. And I hate that movie. Oh, God, do I hate that movie. Because it's so good. It's a movie that I've seen once in my life. Once. 
I ain't watching it again. Uh, uh, you can't make me. No way. But I recommend that movie to like everybody. My friend actually like pitched that movie to me that way. I'm not even kidding. It was Josh Smith. He was like, dude, you should watch Eternal Sunshine of Spotless Mind. And I'm like, all right, cool. We should watch it sometime because we hung out all the time. And he's like, uh uh, I ain't watching it again. I'm like, why not? And he's like, once is all I need for a lifetime. Ain't watching it again. But you should watch it. And I'm like, what? That doesn't make any sense. All right, I'll watch it. So I sat down and I watched it. I made sure I paid attention to it, not just put it on the background. I watched it. And yeah, yeah, about three fourths of the way. Th you know, you watch the movie and you're like, okay, whatever. It's, it's a cool idea. And then about three-fourths of the way through the movie, maybe 80%, maybe 90% of the way through the movie, I'm just like, oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to keep go. I do not want to keep going down this path. I, my heart can't, I can't, uh, mm -mm, I can't take this. Because it's a movie where you kind of project yourself into it. And you're like, uh-uh, mm -mm, no, no, I don't like where this is going. Please make it stop. But, oh, my God, I, I want to keep, I want to watch this. And then, yeah, at the end, you're just like, whew, I got a lot of, like, philosophical and moral questions here for myself. And, like, oh, man, I wish what just happened. Oh, yeah. That was great. Oh, my God, that was great. I don't ever want to watch it again. But I'm going to recommend it to everybody. So there's also that. Is that a movie I hate? Is that, like, my favorite movie? I don't know. But, oh, my God, it's great. Whew. But I ain't ever watching it with you. Mm -mm. If any of you out there have ever seen it twice, what is the matter with you? How did you do that? I, I, mm -mm. Mm -mm. But is that my favorite movie? No, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Is it A Knight's Tale with Shannon Sossaman and Heath, Heath Ledger? It might be. Because I, I, Sir Ulrich von Lichtenstein of Gelderland, I love that name. I adopted that name. Because I love that name. That is the fake name that Heath Ledger adopts when he is jousting, and that's how he meets Jocelyn, Shannon Sossaman. But maybe I only like that because I don't know. I, I don't know. No. Yeah. Point being, everybody, point being out of this whole entire conversation, this whole spiel I just gave you is this. If they didn't destroy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by giving us Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 the, the way that they did, you know, with all of the issues that I gave you before, I would tell you right now that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990 was my favorite movie ever. Because it spawned the franchise that spawned 72 other turtle movies that I get to enjoy with my child and then her children and then probably not their children because I'll be dead, but their children will be enjoying it and so on and so forth, and it would have spawned like the world's largest franchise that I'd probably still have posters and action figures, and I'd have an excuse to live in my childhood because when people came over and they saw my action figures, they wouldn't laugh and point at me like, well, ah, what a nerd that they do now. They'd be like, oh, snap, you got the latest iteration. You got, you got the 50-second printing of like Donatello here from the 97th movie, and I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I waited in line for 17 hours at Walmart, and I got it, and you didn't. You know, it'd become, instead of this point where they just, they just point at me and laugh and make fun of me, it'd be this thing of jealousy. They'd be like, oh, man, I wanted that. Oh, how did you get that? You know, I'd be like, yeah, I'm an adult that, that collects action figures. And they'd be like, well, of course you are, because all adults collect the Turtles action figures. It's the world's largest movie franchise ever, and it's never going to be beaten. That is why. I didn't say Turtles was the best movie ever made. And do you know what I wish I could do with Teenage Ninja Turtles Part 3? I wish I could pull an Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind on it. Yeah. You deserve that, Turtles 3. I know. I know, I picked a fight with you, but... So after this box, I am more than halfway through... This box. This is going to take me to 12, 13, 14 boxes left in this thousand packs. This psycho insane rambling that I'm doing. So I am going to actually stop the video. I know. I know. That's a crime. That's a sin. I understand. But I'm going to go check on Wifey and see if she's okay.
She's been sleeping for quite some time. It's getting kind of late. She super wanted to record this video with me. I don't know if she's going to be mad at me or not for doing this. I hope not. Hashtag winging it. The, co the couch is actually kind of comfortable, so joke's on you when you put me on there. And we'll go from there. I'm explaining this as if the video's ending. To m oh, look, at, look at this, collecting all these mounts. We haven't got the alternate art of this yet, have we? I might have. I just might have been, like, raving about Casey Jones. When I pulled it, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, the video's ending for me for a few minutes. But it's not ending for you because a, the power of editing will save me. Something they should have learned how to do for Teenage Mutant Turtles 3. Yeah, I'm picking on even your editing style. What's the matter with you? Hey, we got the psychic. Nah, we just need the water. Just need the water. And I know, I know, by the way, when I say I collect a playset of every card, well, what's a playset of Seeker or Energy? It's not four. Is it six? Is it eight? How about nine? Do I collect 11 to cover any deck I might ever make? Nope, the answer to me is four. It's always four. I don't care if it's like an ace spec and you can only have one in a deck. I collect four. I don't care if it's energy where you can have, well, 60, well, 59 of them. In a deck, I collect four. That's just my rule. That's what I decided. That's what I'm sticking with. Halfway through, bam, two of those babies, though. Okay, I am going to click stop recording, and then you're just going to see. I don't know why I'm explaining it, because literally no time is going to elapse for you whatsoever. That's the power of pre-recorded video. I, I will be right back. Okay, well, I, I we're, we're, we're back. I found I found a wifey. Yeah. I'm also struggling to get these. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, we should, uh, we should move all this. That's the halfway mark. We're not going to. Could have did this before we started recording, but I mean, then you would have been like, wait a second. Do, 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 just wasting time, running the clock. I'm going to keep the Moltres there. Oh, I didn't sleep the Zapados. Yes, there's an A in Zapados, by the way. Because Dan loves when I say that. <laughs> there, there you go. Thank you. Okay, and we're off. Boop, boop, boop. Well, I'm just going to keep these. One on each side, why not? Just, yeah. just to make more of a mess. I don't know how I was, what's going to be the most efficient way now. This way just seems like this is going to end up not being, the, yeah, we're just making piles in the center. Whatever. Okay. Um, well, I talk for the first half. Your turn to talk for the second half. So how do you really feel about Taco Bell? Mm -mm. No? Ain't talking. Aw. You can't do this to me. I'm not good at this. Oh, twinsies. Uh, well, now's the time. Ooh, nice. Now is the time to uh, get in that quiet time. Okay, this is slowing me down, and I don't know why. I need a different setup than this. I feel like I'm going really slowly. Two minutes in, and haven't even one. opened a box yet. Wow. Well, that's because we did other things. No, nah, I mean, what? Well, we put these together and whatnot. I guess that's true. I just need to find my flow. Hey, I got a blingy blingy slow king. Good job. I am sleepy now. I made coffee, took it to the face. I'm very tired now. <laughs> I stopped recording how long ago? Half hour ish, maybe an hour. Well, I was napping. Went upstairs. Talked to Wiggins. I didn't even make coffee at that time. She woke up maybe five ish minutes after I went upstairs. She had to wake up more. We talked. Made coffee. Had coffee. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. 45-ish minutes. Hour. Whatever. Let's just say an hour. Sure. Why not? An hour. Oh, that means had I not stopped, I would have been almost finished by now. You would have. Maybe. Yeah. Well, you start slowing down oh. as time goes on. 
Anyways, I did tell him the deep dark secret. This is actually my product. Ha 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 ha. Take that, nerds. This is all mine. We're not selling it. This is mine. Did I get two rainbow rares out of the same box? You did. That is two rainbow rares out of one box. Okay. Wow. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Woo. Oh, now we have all three. Oh, really? Yeah. We have one of each. That's pretty sick. Nice. Okay. It's all coming together in the first two boxes that we open. All right. Well, then we're done after that. Yeah, right? we are done. We All just right, perfect. throw the rest away. I'm glad I could help. Done. That's the way it works. I'm helping. You definitely are. I need a... Well, I'm like, I don't need to not slow myself down by seeing how many hits I get out of a box, but... They're all just going to be in a giant pile. I can only really check for the first box. Then after that, uh, it all goes downhill. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, wait, we're not we're not getting rid of the hits after each box. No, that's, that's the weird part because we're so used to a system. Yeah, usually it's a box break. We ship the stuff to the people who buy it. Yep. <laughs> These were just opening. Which is very strange. I will see how many hits I got out of this box, so it feels like I got a decent amount. I'm going to need more sleeves. Do we have them next to you? Or? Nope. Where I'll are they? grab them. Okay, fine. Well, this is actually your your stuff. How did you just, like, instantly, like, done with the box? I'm slow. You're talking about you're slow, and I'm usually opening fast. The videos we've been recording this part for about five minutes now. Slow. Oh my god. Very, very slow. That's what I just did. Slow. Okay, how many hits did I get out of this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, with two rainbow rares. Not bad. Make my pile Shut right up. there. I mean, we got to get the video done. Yeah. These people have to go watch Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind and then never watch it ever again. Oh, that's the movie we need to watch. And by we, I mean you. I'm going to go do something else while you watch it. All right. I ain't going to that. I, don't know, I ain't going for that ride again. Oh. Did it once, never again. All right. I told you that before about that movie. Yeah, but I don't remember things. So. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you got to watch it. I ain't watching it with you. You're on your own. Babe. Is there actually sound happening during this video? Sound check, sound check. Yeah, there is. Cool. Sweet. I don't know why OBS changed where it's not showing the sound now on like the default thing. It's kind of stupid. Oh, Celebi. Boop. Right into the pile. Goes into the void. Yeah, I just feel like, I feel like I'm slowing down. You know. When I, I was in my not. 60s, I, were, I was quicker doing this. What was that? I did not sleeve the last card. That's okay. I'm sure no one paid any attention. It's fine. People yell at me later. We're like an hour and a half into this video. No one's watching anymore. Don't worry. This is just for semantics? Is that the word? This is just for formality. This is a formality. That's it. Ah, the recording this is a formality. Form for you got this, love. Mm -mm. I don't. I give up. Aw. I'm done trying. I am really tired. Yeah. We still got to sort all of this, though. Look it all up. Price it all out. Yay. Work. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's say we could do it in the morning, but we have to stream tomorrow on Twitch. And we're going to open... I don't know how many more packs tomorrow. Saturday's probably we're going to go absolutely ham on it, though. Because Wiggins is going to go live. Ah, whatever. We're streaming breaks this weekend for all one of you who fell asleep and is accidentally listening to this. Come on, pack open. There's just a Gengar. Hey. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah. Ooh, sell it. Nice. Hey, where are the sleeves, though? I'll go grab them. I don't care. Oh, I'll grab them. I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it. You can't stop me. Seriously, if they just would have kept going, the 1990s version, and just rolled with it, right? And just kept, like, kind of evolving based on the cartoon. Oh, my God. Seriously. 
even right now, instead of me like complaining about this, I'd be talking about, oh my god, the next one's coming out next year. Ah, aren't you all excited? But instead, here we are. Got him. Thanks, babe. Are they like different kind of sleeves or something? Or? No, I was just having trouble. Yeah, I understand. I have that with my brain. Oh my gosh, twinsies. Oh, these are slightly different kind of sleeves. Slightly different, it feels like. Really? I don't know. And it's 2021. Everyone is rushing everything. So it's kind of... There's variance in quality. I only have four more boxes till I'm done. You've got six. Oh, uh, whoops. Hmm. I guess I can grab some of these boxes. Hey, it's what else. Oh, by the way, I'm also not so separating out the uncommons at all. Oh, uh, so you're not pulling these out? No, no, I'm so sorry. I just told you that. All right. That's a bunch of bulk on my lap. Hey, I was going to get that. I got you. I'm trying to have a system, okay? I, fig I figured out a system. We figured it out together <coughs> when I was opening packs earlier. I just didn't figure it out until I was, like, almost done. But, hey, I got there. Eventually. I'm proud of you. No, you're not. I'm always proud of you. No, you're not. I like how you're two boxes ahead of me almost. Woo! You did go get sleeves. So you got that going for you. I got a Blazekin. I don't even know what I got. Rainbow Rare. You gotta clean up my bulk. Bulk cleanup is occurring. That's what's happening. In case you were concerned. I found a box. Good job. <laughs> Do you need a cutty tool? No. This video is actually a lie. Why? We're opening 1,008 packs. Oh. Yep, 28 boxes. 28 times 36 is 1,008. We Click just, baited you. We just like to make sure that people like count them out. So, you know what? <laughs> I should just take eight packs and just put them aside. Say no. Ain't happening. Then it's actually 1,000. Truth. Screw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Now it's 1,000. Done. No, Now oh. it's not clickbait. You know what? You know what, babe? Oh! oh! Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, there's so many cool cards in this set. There are. So many cool cards in this what set. What was that one that was pulled? Fine. Which one? There's uh, a lot of them. Last night. That was a sick looking card. There's a ton of sick looking cards in this set. The only one I'm actually top loading is the uh, the Moltres. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get your life together, buddy. I don't want a mom. All right. Well, the Moltres is falling like one in a thousand packs, and we got two of them in five hundred packs. Oh, awesome! Yeah. No, yeah. it was that one that was like graffitied. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. There's so many sick ones in here. We'll just have to pull another one. To see. Yeah, that one was sick. I got them out. Horsey. Yeah, two sleeves. I wasn't got a that one? Snake. Time on. It wasn't that one. I know that one. See, look at you. You're flying through your packs now. Yeah, I'm not looking for the other. Oh my stuff. God, Balk. These piles aren't even that big. Why do they just keep falling? Then I'm going to knock it over over there. Probably. I feel like I'm going backwards on this box. You got this. All right, what are we talking about? Food. No, I told you all. I already covered that. Oh. Ooh, what was it? I'll have to watch the video. That you go to bed and you're like, did you eat? And I'm like, yeah. And I failed to tell you it was a half a box of Twinkies. <laughs> That's my baby. I've opened five packs and I'm already knocking over the bulk over here. There we go. 
fixed it. My packs are leaning. Everything's just messed up. I'm just trying to keep a nice little rhythm going. Man, I want more coffee, but I gotta go to bed sometime soon. Two, three, four, five, six. Six? Nah, I give up on counting. Screw it. We'll figure out the average, maybe. Over. Hey. Nice. I guess we could count up every single one and then divide it by 28 and get the average hit per box. That might make sense. Yeah. Yeah. More work for us to do at the end of the video. Yay. Hey, got a horsey. They're just going a giant stack, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sorting the set doesn't seem like it's going to be fun. Probably not. I got you, though. Nah, it's, uh, it doesn't feel like it's fun. You know, my brain is like, dude, you can just do that part tomorrow. But we got to get the video rendered, or edited, rendered, and then uploaded. Which we'll we could it. do depending on what time it happens. Zapdos. You know, all I'm saying is it's a possibility we could slack for one more half a day. Yeah. <laughs> That's an option I like. You do like slacking. I really do like putting off mm. to later what I could do now. Nice. Agatha. That is a fact. Well, I will count them out and do stuff for you. I mean, they need sorted, which is like the annoying part. Well, yeah, I can do that. I know you can. Whatever I'm just saying. Else. Nah, we got it. You know, we got a job to do. We got to do our job. That's what I'm saying. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Dude, I got nothing to talk about. I got nothing. Sleepy. I already went over the plans with the channel. Check that off the list. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we're just kind of sit in silence now forever. Well, I've got nothing like normal. But abnormal is good. Tomorrow. Today. Well, technically today. Hey, look at that little rabbit ashy. So pretty. Yeah, they definitely upgraded their art. Yeah, they kind of went crazy. Yeah, it is so nice. So what are you going to say, my love? Woo! Oh, you got it. I got, I got it. You did well there. Nice. Look at Bob. He's got those. Go right little, there, Bob. Little fatty. Yeah. So what's happening tomorrow? Today? I want to make burgers on the grill. If we like have time. French yeah, fries yeah, or time. tater tots or something. We're you supposed know, something. to go... Live by five. Let's put it that way. Okay. By five is when we're supposed to go live. I have no idea when I'm going to be waking up. I'm going to be waking up like, oh my God, we got to go live. Probably. That sounds about right. Yeah, I don't like being on the sleep schedule, but here I am. I intended to go to bed really early last night, Ooh. but instead I went to bed really early today. Tried, love? I didn't really even try. I intended. It just didn't happen. You know, sometimes things don't always work out. You just keep trying. Things often don't work out. Like trying to grab one pack at once. That didn't work out. <laughs> but I got a horsey. We've not got the cool, sweet 
uber alt art of that yet. No? I don't think so. Maybe I was just like ranting about something and I did and I put in the common on common pile. The turtles? There's no turtles in this set. No. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh yeah, that. Them. See, I forgot about them because what they did is Michael Bay remade the movies. Yeah, I don't like the new ones. I'll, I'll never watch them. I haven't seen them because I'm like, this is stupid. It might be enjoyable, but I'm like, that's just, that's, that's stupid. I agree. They look weird. Yeah, I can't get used to it. Even after all this Ooh. time, still can't get used to it. Hey, I, I got a bird. I got a slow king. That's a nice one. The pack art is so nice. Or not the pack art, the card art. I could have just left it a pack art. People would have assumed that's what you meant. You know, just play it off as if it was intentional sometimes. Hey, another fighting. Nice. That's four secret rare energy. Those are so nice. Yeah, it is. They're a lot cooler this time around, that's for sure. Get out of there. You're, you're right there? Yep, just counting nine hits. I'm too lazy to do that at the end. It's okay. I don't know if actually all of them sat here or not from this box. I don't know. I'm just glad I got this cutting tool because opening these these boxes is a little difficult. Yeah, they are slightly thicker this time. I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, sure, they all came from the same box. Hundred <laughs> percent had to have. No one rewind the video and check. It's all fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is okay. Got to straighten out my codes. Oh, that nap was great. That was a nap. That's for sure. That was a long nap. It was very I don't much know when needed. you went to bed. Before the sun went down. Yes. yes. I was still outside playing uh, Hearthstone. I don't remember what it was. Please again. Nice. I don't remember. Every time we say nice, it reminds me of Mikey. Oh, I think we're going to do a thousand pack. No, it's okay. When we do a thousand pack opening, I think Mikey says nice at least 250 times. Oh. It's adorable. That's all I'm saying. That might be where I'm getting it from. Yeah, every time he gets a hit, he's like, nice. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. <laughs> Sometimes he, he mixes it up and he goes, nice, nice. Oh, it's <laughs> not the way he says it, but he's like, nice. I don't know how he says his double nice. Love you, Mikey. He's not watching. Hey, uh, that Blissey. Definitely That's watching. nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Yeah. Boop. Nice. We'll just we'll just start saying that. Nice, nice, nice. Probably should not actually do that. But, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever you want to do. I don't care. I'm beyond caring. I'm too old. 104.65A years old. And I just, I'm done with caring about anything. I, I don't blame you. If I was that old, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care either. I'm over it. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. I love you so much. I got your back. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You ain't wrong. And I'm actually keeping track of how much I get per box. Unless you've been like slipping ultra rares into my stack. Or stealing ultra rares from my stack, actually. Considering how many are not no, sitting down there right trinsies. now. I don't know. I really only hit four hits out of this so far. Double blissy. Eh. 
and zap a dose. I got a zap a dose. <laughs> Dan hated that. Oh god, he hated that so much. I don't know who said zap a dose. It's probably me. I'm to be hundred percent honest with you. It just it's one of them things. It just got to him. So ever since then, it's been zap a dose. I I got a zap dose. A zap a dose. <laughs> Love you, Dan. Oh, I miss Dan. He'll be back someday. Yeah. Someday. Maybe. Yeah, whenever I hear that Magic the Gathering's not doing very well, I cheer on its demise because when Wizards of the Coast folds and goes out of business, we get Dan back. Yay! Because that's who he works for. So we just got to root for Magic the Gathering to die off. All you millions of people who love the card game, worth it. I get Dan back, so... Hey, I did it too. Nice. I did it too. Yeah. That's two of those. I feel like we're getting, well, there's, we're missing a lot of stuff still. No yeah. way can you get a complete set of a thousand packs anymore. Uh-uh, ain't no way. Yeah. That ain't going to happen. Definitely not possible. Not. I'm not even gonna try to figure out what we're missing. <laughs> I There's I ain't about so that life right cards. now. Nah, I don't I don't feel like doing that. Uh -uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright. The packs weren't cooperating. Mwah. And here we go. Is that your last? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, you slacker. Just, you still have four boxes left. I just um, had issues with um, flipping cards. It, 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 it was going great. Is there really only four boxes left? Are we lying to people? Is this only like a 600-pack opening? No, it's just faster with two people. Ooh! Uh, we have not got that one yet. Huh. I guess I should save this one. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. Two. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hits. Yeah, the average is going to be about eight. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's going to end up being like 7.85 hits per box or something silly. Or we're just going to miscount. Be like, why is the average 19 hits per box? <laughs> uh, well, that's what the numbers say. That's what it is. Numbers don't lie, except for when you're working with statistics. Oh, I thought it was hips that don't lie. Nah, it's numbers. Oh. Statistics lie to you all the time. It's so easy to make any statistic work in your advantage. Thanks, Shakira. I don't know why I really like that whatever one song is by her. That one's a good one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, hey, when the kid's sleeping tonight, maybe I should crank some music. Pay her back. Ooh. You know what the kid loves to do? Not let me sleep. And I don't yeah. mean like it's just like a little kid. She's, she's 15. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be sleeping. I don't know. It was, the other, it was, was it yesterday, actually? I don't know. We, we both laid down and taken a nap because we still fatigued from the COVID shots. It, she she knew we were taking a nap. She just walks into the room, all excited for some reason that she put a hook into a wall <laughs> and had to just let her know about it <laughs> and then high five her. <laughs> and I'm like, congrats on putting a hook into the wall. <laughs> I suppose I'm no longer going to sleep. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just not even just that one instance. It's, you know. Several. It's a lot. It's a lot. Kids are great. Aren't they, though? Mm-hmm. So don't worry. The dogs keep doing the same thing as well. Yeah, but the dogs don't know better. They see a human outside or another another doggo, and they're like, I got to bark at it. I got to yell at it. I got to, you know, that's this instinct. Regardless, I think I will serenade the child when she goes to bed here soon with Metallica's Whiskey in the Jar. I believe she would be very thrilled to wake up to a, such an upbeat song that makes you just want to dance. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah. That sounds great. See, if I played something like really loud from like the 1940s or 1930s, you know, some kind of like music that I grew up with, then she'd probably be like, oh my God, what is going on? But like Metallica's like, yeah, all right, I can get into this jam. <laughs> I don't care that it's 7 a.m. and I just went to bed. Being parents is fun. Yeah, new house rule for the next week. Sun's up, you're up. Yeah. Better not like go to bed it. at like six. I need to put this on my top. You got them on there? Yep. Right. And the kid might begrudgingly agree to that rule. Joke's on her, the sun's always out somewhere. I'm gonna teach her that little known fact. At like 3 a.m. one day. You're like, wake up! Grab our little makeup. You're like, what? How's it going to make your makeup? What do you, what? Do you, what? Why did you get these on the table? You wanted to! And then I'm gonna run out of the room. <laughs> Screaming, it's sunny in Australia right now. Tips on how to get a kid to hate you. Tip one. She'll look back up with fond memories. Two, three, four, Ooh. five. Did I only get six out of that one? Yeah, these boxes aren't consistent. I got robbed. I got this pretty card. We're not even going to try and pronounce that because, well, words are hard. Fiona. Is it Fiona? That's what my brain told me. All right. My brain never lied. <laughs> Shloop dog. They just followed us on Twitch not long ago. And Steve. I don't know why we're getting Twitch followers right now. So I'm at two in the past hour, but two in an hour when we've been offline all day is pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Ah, open. Why do they keep them on the table? You wanted to. You're going to create another table. You wanted to. Why well, don't think you trust in my copyright infringement? I love you. YouTube let you have no fun. No, YouTube mean. It's actually the DMCA. Yeah, they mean. Yeah. I think it's D DMCA. I don't even know. Don't know. Don't care. Hit number one. Did I really get six hits in that last one? That's pretty terrible. Probably. I didn't take any. I think we get two of these in the first 500. Gets my hopes up to get more. Nah. Mm -mm. Only a couple boxes left. I'm sorry, baby. Hey, another blissy though. Are we missing boxes? Did we really open 12 boxes already? No way. In 31 minutes? Did we really do that? Did we really sail this quickly? Hmm. Perhaps we did. Oh, crap. This is on YouTube. Um, it is. I could have clicked start streaming whenever and been like, hey, welcome to the last of our 1,000 pack video. I'm supposed to be is super excited. No, you ain't got to be. If I'm I pull tired. an Articuno, whew, please don't. Like, I'm excited because, well. Horsey. That's my fave. We successfully have just said literally nothing for 12 boxes in a row. I like this. Let's keep this up. Yeah. I should do a new series. Like, I open Pokemon cards, but I don't talk during it. Ooh, that would be that the would entire be video perfect is for me. No background music, even just opening of the packs, looking down, not even the camera at the end. Just look at the camera and it's over. Done. I would like that series. Oh, that would be great series for me because I don't like. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I would hate that series because I always have something I want to say. That would be perfect for me. There's only one box left on there. No way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Are you missing boxes? This doesn't seem right. Grab it, Ash. That is so weird. Last box. How do you know I'm going to open it? Because you're faster than I am, and I just opened this box. <laughs> All right. I'll do it. Ah! I mean, I'll help you. No, it's okay. Sound Sounds like that one... That one, uh... Eeyore. No, that's not... No. Aaron? Uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Ah! Give him my tots. That's a great movie, too. 
Not my favorite movie, so don't, no, it's not. I don't have a favorite movie. Well, you have to. I don't have a favorite anything, really. I mean, besides, I love Mountain Dew. Well, I mean, most enjoyable, maybe. Uh, it, it, there, it's in there. It's in your brain somewhere. You know, if you're forced to watch every single movie ever made, there might not be a clear winner, but one of those you enjoyed more than any other one of them. That's just a scientific fact. Science. Usually when I watch stuff, I just brainlessly watch stuff. That is why it's called a boob tube. Ooh, Articuno. That's not the Articuno. I need the other one. you here. Like, where'd my bulk go? Why'd you steal my bulk? No, you did my bulk. Mm. One, two, Mm. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, love. I'm trying to help. Do or do not. There is no try. I'm a good helper. They said that in Star Trek. Did they? They did not know. Oh. That was Star Wars. What? (laughs) Wait, that doesn't go well. Alright. I just like not having things piled up in front of me. Princess Leia said it to Darth Vader during their wedding. It was pretty sick. Good timing. Did they get married? Totally. Not in real life. You're lying. They weren't married in real life. No. No, about the about them getting married in Hey, the I got an upside down reverse hollow. That's that's about it. About what? In the movie. What movie? They've Sorry. rebooted it a million um, times. Now I'm confused. Star Trek? No, Star Wars. Commander Riker and Deanna Troy. They had like a thing going on a little bit, but Deanna Troy was like... You said Darth Vader and Princess Leia. Yeah, what about them? You said they got married in the movie. Yeah. No. You sure? Yeah. No, th- but yeah. But Ooh. isn't that where uh, Darth Vader explained that he can't speak in contractions because it's not proper? And then one day where they're on the bridge of, uh, like, he, he did speak in contractions, and that's when Commander Worf realized that uh, something was wrong. Remember that? No, because I didn't watch any of the movies. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's nice. That's a nice one. I got a nice one. If you did something and I told you Babe, yes. you're not capable of that level of, like, well, let's see. How would I put it, actually? Just give it to me straightforward. No, no hold on. I want to say it in a way that, like, hold on. <coughs> you're not capable of that level of incompetence. Is that an insult or is that a compliment? See, right, Jordy, or Jordy LaForge, right, uh, messed up something. And Commander Riker was like, Jordy, you're not, he didn't, I don't think he said Jordy, but he said, you're not capable of that level of incompetence. And walked away. Clearly, he was upset. I would. That's a compliment, right? I would think that would be saying. Like, you totally messed up, but like, dude, you're not even capable of messing up like that. That's how good you are. Oh, see, I went the opposite way. Would you? Which way did you go? Uh, the opposite way of that, <laughs> the more negative way. I mean, it's negative, but it's also a compliment. You're not capable of that level of incompetence. That means you you done you done did something stupid, but like, dude, come on, you're not even capable of doing something that dumb. But they Com- did. But it's a compliment as well. 
Can you insult somebody and compliment them simultaneously? Yes. Is, is that what that Commander Riker did at that moment? Yes. Yes, they did. Huh. Just asking. I think it was a compliment. Hey, if you put all 800 episodes of Star Trek, like back to back to back, that's my favorite movie ever seen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with how, that one. How many episodes is that? 800 and some. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's a lot. I don't think I got much out of this box. I'm going to check that. Yeah, I'm going to check, too. How many episodes of Star Trek was there? Um, I, I don't know. I didn't really watch too much of it. Some well, of it I don't really I count as being a thing. Should probably sleeve this. People are gonna yell at me. Oh. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. How to binge watch seven hundred and twenty-six Star Trek episodes? That was out in two thousand sixteen. There are seven hundred and seventy, seven hundred and ninety-seven episodes. Where does it say? Where did that actually say? Hmm. I don't know what it actually said, but uh, I mean, it says right here that there are 700. I, I, this is the one I just clicked on. Total of 797 episodes across 37 seasons, whatever. I don't, e I don't know where it says. Huh. Yeah. That'd be my favorite movie ever made. That's a movie to watch when you stay home sick from school. We did it. 40 minutes, not bad. Are you sure we're not missing any boxes? No, that was what was sitting here. Well, here's the good stuff. Time to do some numbers. Probably shouldn't do it while I'm this tired. Sell us your bulk. Link in the description. We'll buy your Pokemon bulk. Yay, pitch my... Okay. Whew. All right, we have, this is TCG player lowest right now. Keep in mind, price is lower than the map. $38, $10, $25, $10, $22. We have $12 for the regular, $19 on the rainbow rare. This one's, is this the weird one? Yeah, $30 for the regular, and it says $25 for the rainbow rare. Eh. $20, $33, $20, $33, $33. Oh, my God. $20, $33, $36. I fixed it. $22, $35. Hey, kitty. $7. $20. The Rainbow Rare is 18 Again, another weird one. That is $445 in trainers. Secret Rares. We have the Fighting Energy, $30 a piece. $37, $34. Glad to at least get one of each. Fall Crystals, $30. Bronzong is $24. Electrodes, $35. And Fat Boy Snorlax, $130 a piece. That's $480 in Secret Rares. That's $925 so far. We've got a long way to go here. Kitty, please don't jump up here. I love you, Kitty. Don't worry. This will be taken good care of. i got to put them in a box over here. And next page of my chicken scratch. Come on, next page of my chicken scratch. There we go. Hopefully, I, I did this all in order. Hope I did. I hope I did. All right, so we have the Duke, got Shadow Riders. Get those down here. And then Ice Riders. I don't know. I'm just going to. Whew. All right, so Shadow Riders. These are $8.50 a piece. The V Maxes. Twenty-six fifty a piece. The full arts, twenty-nine dollars a piece. Like they're holding some value there, actually. Ice riders, three dollars a piece. V Max, ten fifty a piece. So that's three hundred and thirty-six dollars. We missed the super cool full art though, or the alternate art. Hey, we missed a good chunk of alternate arts, but I'm not shocked. There's so much in this set, like. So much. All right, Blissy, you are up next. Let's get these down here. We just have the Vs, and then we got two of these alt arts. 
a dollar fifty times eight and thirty seven times two, eighty six dollars in Blissey. Got those all. It's a, it's a cool looking alt though, so I mean I'm I'm okay with it. This is the best way I could figure to do the video. So I mean, oh yeah, look, ra ra rapid ash. Got thirty six dollars total. I'll let you all figure out how much that is a piece. Zap a dose. Remember, it's zap a dose, not zap dose. Love you, Dan. Zap a dose. Four dollars a piece. The full arts are twenty a piece, and the alt is ninety five. So we're looking at one hundred and seventy one dollars in zap a dose. About to say, please don't unsubscribe. But I mean, you're an adult. You can do whatever you want. All right, let's get this down here. We oh oh oh. That's no, that's Aurora. So this is one dollar. a piece. Five dollars fifty cents. A total of twelve dollars and fifty cents right here. We are rolling deep. Money, 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 right there. Bam, 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 and bam. All right, Zorora, we have $3 a piece, eight of them. I should probably tell you how many we had of each, huh? Nah, too late. Full art, 15. Alt art, 65. So we have $104 here. Let's keep on going. Got to go to my next little chicken scratch note page. Thank you, Kitty, for not jumping up on everything. Volcanion is up next. And we have... A dollar a piece. We have six of these. And six dollars a piece. Eighteen dollars in Volcanion. We missed some big cards in the set, too. I mean, we got lucky with, like, the Snorlax, whatever. The set has a lot of stuff. This Tornadus is so beautiful for not being much money. We have eight of these at a dollar a piece. Four of these. Wait. Five of these at four dollars a piece. And only thirty dollars. Makes me sad. Fifty-eight dollars in Tornadus. That makes me that one that one definitely makes me sad. Get this out here. Boop boop and boop and boop. A lot of boops. Boops going on. Alright, so we have nine of these at a dollar twenty-five. Articuna go back in there. The full arts, twelve dollars a piece. And then the V Maxes, three dollars fifty cents a piece, and we have five of them. That is fifty-two dollars and seventy-five cents in Selby. And then Wifey's favorite bird, which <sighs> we missed out on. Missed out on getting the super sweet alt art. 11 of these at $3 a piece. Only $3. I'm going to have to buy Wifey a crap ton of these. And then $20 over here. So we're at $53 in Articunos. Like seriously, I should just buy a ton of them. That's all it is. It'll make her super happy. Metagross coming on down. There we go. All right. We have five of these at $1.25. The VMAX. All right, $4 a piece. I couldn't even read my own writing. $8, $26.25. And already on to the next page. I did not, I wasn't efficient with my use of notebook paper there on that one. Sandaconda. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, four different varieties here. Seven of these at a dollar a piece. The VMAXs are $4 a piece. Got five of those. Rainbow Rare is 14. Full art is four. Forty-five dollars worth. I might have messed up my math, by the way, somewhere, because I'm really tired. I don't know if I said that or not. And Blaze Kin coming up next. Trying to do this one without sound effects, you know. Can only do sound effects every so often here without annoying you too much. Okay, the we have ten of these at two dollars and fifty cents a piece, as I just did a sound effect. <laughs> the VMAX, we have six of them. They are $9 a piece. The full arts are $9 a piece. What's up with me and sound effects? And the rainbow rare, $38. Somehow. And that is a total of $135. $135 in Blazikins. Slow King is up next. We, we missed... We missed a lot of cards that I wanted, but... Again, we can we did get lucky on other cards, so I'm happy. Oh, what's it's the next one coming up. Okay, so Slow King, we have eleven of these at a dollar fifty a piece. The VMAX, we have seven at four dollars a piece. And do, do, do the VMAX. Rainbow Rare, that's what I was looking for. These are twenty dollars a piece. The full art is ten and the alt art is only thirty two. I might have to pick up some of these as well. That is a total of $126.50 in Slow King. 
Some of these alt arts are so beautiful and that like twenty, thirty dollars a piece, how rare they are to get. Yeah, I'm gonna Yeah. Now I know I top or top loaded these and they're not the most expensive alt arts, but I this is my by far my favorite art of the set. Which is also funny because I got two of the alt arts and I think I'm missing the full art here. I'll take that though. That's a win. So we have seven of these at three dollars and fifty cents a piece, and hundred and fourteen dollars a piece on these. Two hundred and fifty-two dollars and fifty cents. I'm so happy about spiking these. So happy about two of them. It's a weird mixture of what you hit, what you don't hit. Like it's very weird. Okay, so our numbers, real quick. Hi, kid. You want to see my chicken scratch? Here's my chicken scratch. We had 222 ultra rares. We opened 28 boxes minus eight packs. We did take the eight packs out of one of the boxes to get a thousand packs because a thousand eight packs. So if you if you just add those eight packs back in, that is 7.93 hits per box. That's what it averaged. Again, we could have got another ultra, one or two ultra rares out of that eight packs we took out, but that only moves moves the needle zero or point zero three, I think. So if we would have got two ultra rares, that's like a square eight hits per box. Just average. So that's actually almost dead on. That's if we got two out of those eight. Otherwise, you know, man. Ultra rares, $2,437.50. You already skipped ahead, didn't you? Don't skip ahead. 8,000 bulk, $320. Just comment on comments. The codes, 50 cents eBay price, $500. The hollows rares, hollow rares, whatever, approximately, they go between like seven cents, fifteen cents, depending on what they are. But I'm not going to count which how many we got. Hundred and sixty dollars and two cents. That's three thousand four hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty two cents is what we opened. Yeah, we lost money. Retail value is four thousand dollars. Uh, we I I uh, five hundred eighty two dollars and forty eight cent loss, which is weird, because normally we make money on these by these numbers. And there's a lot of really crazy alt arts. I I really feel like I messed something up. I counted the ultra rares. We found all the ultra rares. We got the right hits per box. We counted the bulk, the codes, whatever. It's, and the set hasn't released yet, so prices are high on some things. There's no uncommons that are worth a crap ton of money. No hollow rares worth a crap ton of money. So according to my sleep deprived brain, that's correct. A five hundred eighty two dollar and forty eight cent loss, which doesn't seem right. Anyway, we're gonna be live streaming breaks. Oh, perfect time to tell you you can buy breaks from us on Twitch. Link below. We'll be live today and tomorrow, and virtually every day, selling chilling rain packs that you shouldn't buy apparently because over the long ter term, you won't get your money back out of it. Um. I mean, you could get lucky. Um, this is awkward. I'm not going to lie. For real, though, man. If they just would have kept going with the 1990 Turtles the way... Oh, my God.